Hey guys, Tech Control with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to turn off two factor authentication on your iPhone. So let's get started. Now, there's good news and bad news when it comes to trying to turn off two factor authentication on your iPhone. First thing is that if you want to go ahead and turn it off, you can simply go into your settings, go to your iCloud account or the Apple account, and just simply click on it. And once you do that, you can now simply go into sign in and security. And once you go into sign in and security, it's going to ask you for your Apple ID password. Go ahead and enter your Apple ID password. Once you enter your Apple ID password, just hit OK here. And once you're on, you're ready to see that two factor, whether you can turn it off or not. So what happens is with two factor authentication, after you have created an Apple account and you turned on two factor authentication, you have about two weeks to turn it off. So if you do have, or within that two weeks window, you're gonna get this ability to turn off two-factor authentication. So if you turn it on with the new Apple ID, you get only two weeks to turn it off. So if you are within those two weeks, you can turn it off. Now, if you're past that two weeks window, unfortunately, two-factor is now permanent on your Apple ID. So what that means is you can't turn it off based on what Apple's article on two-factor is because it's the most secure way for them to secure your account to do end-to-end -end encryption. You have to have two-factor turned on. So within two weeks, if you didn't uh, turn it off, you don't have the option to do it. Now, what are the other options? If you have it on, you can try to go ahead and change the password for, for your Apple ID, or you can change the device that authenticates the two-factor for you if you have changed your number or you want to change it to a different trusted device. So if you click on it, you can edit a different number if you like and remove the existing one by clicking on that remove button or you can change up the devices as well that's available here to a different device but that's how you can change it in order to also if you can't really turn off two-factor. So that's what it happens with two-factor. I hope your explanation was helpful. If so, please make sure to like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.